screen and audio is visible uh, audible come on guys you have to reply to me so that it can come to know okay fine we'll start off so yesterday i was trying to explain that we were supposed to create the spotlight actually we are supposed to create these spotlights okay we are called cob lights also or they can be called as spotlights as well okay these are spotlights effects okay generally uh, affecting on the walls actually something like this spotlights So I'm gonna create the fixture actually, the spot fixture. Okay, so that we can get these kind of effects. Okay, so let us start. So uh, you know, open that family file, uh, project file. this we were supposed to create that spotlight so just like the uh, square LED light will create that fixture so very, very quickly create the fixture family today so family take under the family uh, templates gonna take English and under English we're gonna search for lighting fixture ceiling base so we're gonna take lighting fixture ceiling base dot rft okay, and we can click on open okay so now you can come into the uh, front elevation view and I can just provide some uh, you know reference plane first so I'm going to add a reference plane over here one on the top one at the bottom okay. so just creating that spotlight fixture so creating this effects spot effects so I'm creating that fixture, round fixture actually to get these kind of uh, you know effects of spotlights. Okay, so have create started creating. Okay, just like the square LED fixtures, we are creating parameters. So this would be label as top. This would be label as bottom. Okay, this would be label as light offset. light offset come in the ceiling level and I'm gonna create the spot shape so I'm gonna come create an extrusion shape of uh, circle from the middle uh, all the way of let's say I'm gonna take a little smaller this time so I'm gonna take at least of 140 or 120 at least 40 be better you can give uh, the parameters also the diameters okay. this can be called a 
this light dial. Create another uh, circle actually. So still create another circle shape from the middle all the way of uh, let's say 120. Create another parameter for that. This can be called as bezel. Click on the finish edit mode. So that's the fixture. Come back in the front view. Base and lock it. Top and lock it. Okay. Can come in the family parameter over here. Can provide the bottom height. This is like. 15 mm and the top height can be like 150 mm or maybe even less just give 100 mm basically there come back at the reference level plane or this to create another exclusion circle of three shape right the diameter for that as well okay that this is already locked I guess so Finish mode coming back on the front view, lock it in there, and this can be locked in here. as a dimension okay, you can use the join geometry command to join this with that okay. right then you can create that glass uh, shape and the cut wide as well Okay, so to create a cut wide, uh, I'm gonna come into the ceiling level. Then take the uh, create wide form, take wide extrusion. Create another circle from the to the end of here. Then we take the parameter to that as well. Diameter. This can be also have the same bezel thickness. Come the front view. This void would be starting from here. End up till there. This will cut the void will cut the ceiling. plane actually this is 
glass thickness so this void can we start from the glass thickness actually till the top over there and then we can take the void command it will cut the void shape and the ceiling line and it will cut that ceiling line actually and then we can create the, the glass object now so the glass will be created on this plane bottom plane so we will come in that ceiling level again before I take their extrusion shape we will take the set plane select the bottom plane click ok now I am going to create an extrusion shape In diameter options, gonna press tab to select cyclically and then select that. Gonna apply the same thickness bezel. Put on the finish mode. Put the front view, the glass. We end up over there. We can lock it. So that's your glass over there select that you can apply the subcategory okay material so the class we have to fix sure everything ready come into family types over here and we're gonna give some formula families okay, so one is about the bezel the bezel formula would be what the whatever is the um, light dia minus that um, 40 mm okay that would be 40 mm would be my thickness of the bezel actually okay so light dia paste minus 40 mm okay so that would be the bezel size so now if i increase the light dia to 300 you can see the bezel goes to 260 and it maintains the proportion basically there. okay so that's one formula okay. the other formula would be applied to the light offset okay so the light offset would be what uh, whatever is the bottom height minus the half so bottom height paste over here mine divided by two half the value so that would be my light offset apply and okay so now if you look into your front elevation view you can see the light is gone inside the glass actually now we can select the glass uh, select the light source and select light source definition from here and this time we will select the shape of light as circle ok so the shape of light would be circle and uh, the distribution form of light can be photometric web ok so the distribution form I can take photometric web and then I can click on apply then I can click on okay so you can see the little change will appear over here okay I'm going to come into the uh, family type once again and in the family type I'm going to make sure the angle the tilt angle is there 60 degrees there so I'll give this to 0 so tilt angle should be 0 degree that's perfectly done and so right we have the light source coming ok perfect you can even take this uh, you know light offset just below the uh, 
bottom height actually basically so you can just say instead of half you can just say keep it below that point okay. or plus you can add plus like five and more down okay, so i just want to take this light a little down actually below the glass actually if i keep it inside the glass the effect will not come so that's why i'm keeping the light offset below the glass actually Okay, if you want you can keep it exactly on the glass also so you can just say equal to bottom height so whatever is the bottom height it will stay on that height okay so that can be there use light shape visibility in render this option can be turned on so that the shape of the light is visible rest the other thing is the same only only thing is the like again the circle diameter is should be equal to the bezel so we're gonna copy the bezel diameter of the circle should be equal to bezel okay loss power should be one initial intensity of the light what wattage of light you want you can provide suppose you want 15 wattage of light at an efficiency of 250 or more than that suppose 300 if i give efficiency what color of light you want you can select the color of light okay so i'm going to select warm colors this time and uh, over here uh, there is an option that is called photometric web file okay so here pe abhi properties mein, uh, there is an option that is called photometric web file which says generic option over here okay so over here what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this photometric web files we're gonna download some photometric web files so to download some photometric web files we'll come into google and we're gonna type ies lights free download is lights free downloads then so this is what you're gonna search IES light free download and you'll get all the uh, photometric lights the package of light you can see IES light pack click on free download So the light package will be downloaded. So you can see in the download folder you will find that light packet. So once you are downloaded you will get this uh, packet of light actually and uh, we need to extract that packet of light because it's a rar file so we need to extract that file Once we extracted, we get this extraction folder. Okay. And when you come in that folder, you will find all the light files basically. Okay, yeah, pe light file, file hai, IES file, and there is an image file. This like area light, this is the file. Hai. Means this light, if you put it, it will have an effect. If you put this light, if you put bollard light, it will have an effect. If you put comet light, it will have an effect. 
ओके तो कौन सा टाइप का इफेक्ट ऑफ लाइट चाहिए वो हमें चूज करना है सपोजिंगली मुझे ये टाइप ऑफ लाइट लगाना था ये लाइट का नाम क्या है स्कैटर लाइट स्कैटर लाइट लगाने के लिए यहाँ पे देखो फोटोमेट्रिक वेब फाइल लिखा हुआ है कम ओ वी आर इन टू जेनरिक्स एंड इन दिन सिलेक्ट दैट ऑप्शन एंड वी कैन ब्राउज फॉर दैट लाइट सो इट इज़ देयर इन माई डाउनलोड फोल्डर सो एम कैन कम इन टू द डाउनलोड फोल्डर डाउनलोड फाइन दैट फोल्डर फाइल एंड कम स्कैटर लाइट वी कैन सर्च फॉर दैट स्कैटर लाइट वेयर इट इज डॉट आई एस दिस इज द फाइल क्लिक ऑन ओपन कैन सी दैट लाइट इज बीन लोडेड क्लिक ऑन अप्लाई but like this is like slightly tilting actually so we have to make sure that the angle is set it properly we got to like give an angle of like 60 degree tilt and the no, not that perfect so 50 degree tilt that should be perfect so like falling downwards okay so there should be tilt angle should be retracted actually Looking to the left view also, you see the effect. That's perfect. You can see the light effect coming in. That's the photometric light for the spotlight. And now I can save this file. Control S. spot light you can load it into our project and then over here we can come in the uh, ceiling level maybe if i want to add a spot light right over here we can take uh, the system tab lighting fixture like spotlight and you can add it up okay the fixture is quite big actually so might have to reduce the size come back in the family types and see what else we can change uh, tilt angle is okay the diameter and everything is okay okay fine okay this okay the color of the projects and select the light and make it come to the edit type and change its diameter actually like that is like 300 which is quite big we can make it at 200 perfect you can add spotlights so we have yeah, two spotlights been added come to the 3d camera view spotlight and we can now come into the view tab and render and before i render it i'll just make sure that in the artificial light folder list um the other lights are being switched off except for the wall tube light so i'm going to off that tube light as well just keeping the spotlight active so you can see they are only tick on the way light on hai baki sab off hai you can see off off and off and then i'm going to click on okay and then you can just stick the render see the effect so what happens when you only to switch on the spotlights we 
can see the effect of the spotlight coming in and we can see the tube light is also active right now so we need to switch off that light as well light was switch off kiya tha but wo glow ne ban nahi kiya to wo glow bhi ban karna padega uska light ka tube light ka सो दैट्स द इफेक्ट ओनली थिंग इज दैट ये ट्यूब लाइट ऑन है तो उसको ऑफ करते हैं सो इट सेलेक्ट दैट ट्यूब लाइट एंड उसमें हम लोगों ने मटीरियल दिया रहेगा ट्यूब को सो वी हैविंग ओवियर यू कैन सी ग्लास मटीरियल इज देर सो यू कैन गिव दैट ग्लास मटीरियल एज बाई कैटेगरी ओके और यू कैन कम इन अपियरेंसेस टेम्पररी हम लोग इसका सेल्फ एलिमिनेशन ऑफ कर देते हैं उसका ग्लो जो है वो ऑफ हो जाएगा बंद हो जाएगा सो वी ऑफ द सेल्फ एलिमिनेशन इट विल नॉट ग्लो एक्चुअली नाउ इफ आई रेंडर दैट सीन अगेन व्यू रेंडर कैन सी आर्टिफिशियल लाइट्स इवन दैट ट्यूब लाइट इज ऑफ रेंडर इट now the tube light doesn't seems to be active only the spot lights are active can click on export to export the image click on save to project also to see the result so in one we just use the square led lights in second we just we all use the tube light and then we just saw the effect of the tube light and now we are just seeing the effect of the spotlights Now, if I switch on all the lights all together, so we can come to the 3D view once again. Go select this tube light. Go switch on that material, the glass material. I mean, self illumination, which was done earlier, will on that so that the light glows. Even uh, when I come into the views and render it, come into artificial lights. 
switch on these tube lights and I'm gonna switch on these lights as well okay so all the lights are now active except for the street lights not on in the street lights then if I now render the view so the square LED lights the spotlight and the tube light effect all together effect will be coming see the impact of all the lights okay, even of the spotlight the tube light and these lights okay, now remember the quality that I've set it is medium quality because I don't want it to you know render it uh, in a high quality right now because it might take a lot of time but you can render in high quality to get a proper clean image okay. then once again you can then click on save projects and you can even export this image compare it to the view okay, so if you look into the desktop you might have two image just of the spotlight and the other one here we have right so that's how it looks that's how you can get the effect of the spot and the square led lights okay so that's one two three types of lights are been covered tube light spotlight and the led panel light now in the next class that's tomorrow we're going to do this cove light okay so ye led strip light kaise create karte hain okay, we're going to see that result okay so iska light ka result dekhenge ki andar cove lighting karenge so what we'll see okay See you guys tomorrow. Yes, Salim. Yeah, I'll send a recording link. I'll send it right now on the WhatsApp only. Okay. Somebody is for you. Okay, I think his microphone is not working.
is gone. Okay, so we'll leave the meeting.